Funeral director in Alachua County is facing backlash after residents uncovered he isn't a licensed funeral director. One resident says she's had many sleepless nights since losing her son and the funeral home hasn't made it any easier. tv Twins Misty Webb tells us how far the woman is willing to go to shut down the funeral home. The only piece of mind is two ways. I'm going to jail and losing this business. Bernard Phillip with the Phillip and Sons Funeral Directors is under investigation by the State Department of Funeral Services. Tanya Williams lost her son Eric Williams in April and made funeral arrangements with Phillip and Sons. I asked her to go somewhere else. She says they handled it wrong by pressuring her to use their services and refusing to use her son's life insurance policy. According to Williams, a day before the funeral, Phillips demanded $2,500 instead of using her son's life insurance. Relatives I spoke with say this has been a lot to deal with and they hope they can get justice. When you're already grieving and you're already going through things, it hurts worse. When you find out that you have to pay money that you don't have right at hand for your son's funeral. Williams says she isn't the only victim and hopes more come forward. When I say I can't sleep because I don't want no other family to go through this and I've been trying to sit and figure out how many ways that I can shed him down. I reached out to Philip, who initially agreed to an interview, but then said he can't speak because this is an ongoing investigation. I feel that if you do something wrong as a as an owner of a company and myself, if you you have to face the music some way somehow, and there's no there's no need to run. Phillips did note they have licensed funeral directors who are employed there and meet with the families. He also says he is the owner and a Florida licensed embalmer, but that doesn't change how Williams feels about how her family was treated. In Alachua, Misty Webb, TV 20 News. And if you would like to find out if a funeral home director or embalmer is currently licensed, the state does have a website you can search. We have a link for you on our website at WCJV.